hey grace fam i hope you're all doing well i had to share this video with you because it really just brought a joy to my heart to see someone stand up for their beliefs so this owner this business restaurant owner actually has a sign on his door that says only on snake bitten people are allowed into my store only on snake bitten right and can, when you see this video you see how long the line is stand up for your right and god will back you god will send provision god will make his people follow you god will show you a way and give you a way amen because a lot of believers probably have their restaurants and probably were thinking about it but say oh i'm not gonna get sales i'm not gonna this i'm not gonna that but look at this look at this his line is so long so watch this video let it bring a little upliftment to your spirit and let it encourage you to know that when it is your time stand on your right and stand firm on your beliefs amen and know that father god will back you up all right watch this video and enjoy bye love you the lord loves you and i'll see you soon Check this out. A restaurant owner in Huntington Beach, California is actually banning patrons who have been vaccinated. Yup, the sign says proof of being unvaccinated required. And just look at the lines to get in. Our Lisa Guerrero spoke to owner Tony Roman, who Wednesday was called an idiot by Chris Cuomo live on CNN. Honestly, you sound like an idiot, so there's not much to say. Aren't you putting your customers at risk? by saying that in my restaurant, you don't wear masks and you cannot be vaccinated. We have had tens of thousands of healthy, happy customers. Um, we haven't had any contact tracing back to us and uh, it's been a great experience. His restaurant is being picketed by ICU nurse, Jesse Cutter. That is a recipe for death. Tony Roman wasn't happy to see him. Bolt out, but Bolt wait, step away. Wait. So just to add, in Matthew 16, you know, it says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So if you really think that you are going to stand for your truth and go against their narrative and not get persecuted, don't even bother me the choice. If you are not going to ride it through, you see in the video how he is, put, he is serious. And when you are standing for your truth and against their narrative, be ready to be ridiculed, be ready to be called an idiot, to be called stupid, to be called crazy, to be called a conspiracy theorist, right? Ready to be called all type of names just to, to bring down your credibility, amen? Just to bring down your credibility. So you have to deny yourself. Denying yourself is denying the thoughts of, I want people to like me, I, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to go against the grain, I don't want to be on the news, I don't want this, I don't want that, but guess what? Just as our Lord and Savior was persecuted, was ridiculed, stuff was thrown at him, they were ready to stone him, all of this, till he eventually shed his blood for you and me, amen, so that we could have the choice and a chance for everlasting salvation, amen? So... I'm just so blessed by this video and I just pray that you just be blessed as well. Share it, encourage someone, another business owner, just to give them another perspective on the way that they could go so they could feel better and more fulfilled in themselves, feeling like they're living their truth and I'm just so proud of him. Amen. So just let's stay together as kingdom children, as brothers and sisters in Christ, support our own. As I say again, hashtag faith-based businesses, hashtag believer-owned businesses, not black-owned businesses, believer-owned businesses. That is our hashtag. Amen. Amen. So you guys take care. Bye. I love you.